The first challenge is giving the bionic man the ability to pick something up. Is it locked? Which one? For a robot to be able to be useful in the world, it has to have those same levels of manipulation and dexterity that a human has. But developing software to control arms like Berthold's isn't easy. The prosthetics are designed to take signals from the body, electrical signals that can be detected somewhere, whether it's in a nerve or a muscle, and turn those into commands. So what we had to do is to work out a way to fake those electrical signals that the prosthetic is expecting to see to get it to do things. What on earth? The Bionic Man's skull is a nylon model displaying the two different types of prosthetic plate used for replacing bone. Instead of eyes, they're using the 3D camera from a games console. So that gives us depth perception and vision so we can recognize objects and find them. To pick up this can, they need to connect the images from the camera to the software they've designed to control the arms. This screen down here has the actual view that's coming out of the 3D camera. And you can see its arms, cool. This is it mapped into a, a three-dimensional world. Oh, wow. You can see the green shadow. Yes. That's the object that it thinks it's seeing. How does it know that that's the can and not the table? It recognizes a collection of points that are of about the right shape. So it has kind of learned what a can looks like. Yeah. Oh, cool. Can I have a glass of cola, please? Once the computer's decoded the image, it sends signals to a circuit board in the custom-built shoulder, which is controlled by artificial muscles that contract when filled with compressed air. The signals are then passed down the prosthetic elbow and into the hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Thank you. Ah, you are going to have a sip as well? Yeah? OK. <laughs> Cheers. No, OK. Mm. We've now picked up a lot of cans and we've, we've spilled a lot of drink. I don't think that this robot will ever be the world's best barman, but given that it's only been on the job for a day, I think it, it's doing pretty well at picking up cans and pouring things.